Hello and welcome to another Outside the Box review. Today we are looking at the Terminator 2 Man or Machine figure from NECA. I have to throw this figure in here because I realize I've been doing a lot of comic book stuff lately. And i got to go back to the stuff that's really the main focus of my collection. And that is horror and... Uh, select few bits of sci-fi mostly involving Arnold Schwarzenegger and this is an older figure by far it's one of the first ones I believe maybe the second wave of the Terminator line that NECA put out but it still stands up really well the way they've sculpted Arnold's head on here is really nice really gives a feeling for the character and looks very impressive especially at a 7 inch scale one of the big reasons I wanted to pick this up, actually there were two big reasons I picked this guy up, is for the fact that he's the only Terminator 2 figure that NECA's done so far where he's not wearing a leather jacket. You actually can get him with just a t-shirt. And the other reason is the figure that's going to be coming out eventually for Terminator 1, showing him doing the surgery on his arm. I just... When I saw that figure, I realized I'm going to need this guy to stand next to him and have the part one and part two surgery scenes next to each other, or exposed endoskeleton scenes next to each other. Granted, because of the sculpt, NECA has sacrificed a lot of articulation. He has a ball-jointed head, he can swivel side to side, tilt it, all that stuff, but because of the way the neck is on here... I believe they're trying to not leave any kind of gap in there. His head comes off really easily, which is definitely a disappointment. The arms are ball jointed. You can go up, swivel them. It's a good amount of articulation there. The arms both have kind of different articulation. This one is a solid piece of plastic all the way down here. Though you can rotate it where his arm comes out of the sleeve. But because he's so muscular, you turn it a little bit and it looks really goofy. This arm features the same articulation up until here, but includes an extra articulation where you can rotate the robotic hand and then rotate the wrist as well. And I have to say, the mechanical arm on here is spectacular. And honestly, the whole sculpt I just feel is really nice. The uh, detail work on Arnold looks so awesome and so realistic that it's mind-blowing. He has articulation at the waist. Once again, turn it too much and it doesn't look right. Coming down here, he also has different articulation for each leg. This leg is solid except you can kind of rotate the boot down there. Not really a whole lot. This leg has a joint at the upper leg here and again at the lower leg near the boot and the boot itself kinda moves just like the other one now I've heard people talk about this weird articulation and I think I know what the cause of it is if you look at any of these Terminator figures the Arnold body they reuse as much of it as they can at NECA and the only real difference with the lower body sculpts is on some of them this knee is torn so I believe this isn't really meant to be articulation, and it's just the points where they can change out whatever middle piece sits in here. As far as accessories, really not much. He does come with his little gun here, which I don't believe he had in his hand. He had a knife in his hand, I'm sure, when he was doing this part to his arm. And uh, not really sure why NECA wouldn't include a knife instead, but I'll probably stick the gun with another Terminator figure. Overall, out of all of NECA's Terminator 2 figures, this one is probably the least desirable. The other figures, which I have not reviewed on here yet, are by far nicer. But, as I mentioned before, I have specific reasons for wanting this guy, and I think he'll look really nice if you have all those Arnolds up on a shelf together. And he'll be actually a nice contrast with the t-shirt as opposed to the black leather jacket. So if you are a huge T2 fan, and I am, it's my favorite movie of all time, and uh, or you're a completionist on stuff like this, 
I could definitely recommend it to you. For most people who just want a really cool Terminator figure for their shelf, this is not the one for you. Fortunately, if you're on the fence between those two points, I've seen this guy on clearance at a lot of stores, Toys R Us and FYE, I've seen him at on discount. So you may be able to pick him up for a good price. This has been another Outside the Box review. Stay tuned for more in the future.